Oh, oh wait, you're thirty percent through the building or you're thirty percent money for the building? Well what I mean is the land is dead now. Oh. Oh materials are there. Oh, oh. So, so that's so I nice. Can, if I can go that far. <laughs> yeah, no, but that's no but but you see you're doing well. It might be a slow pace, but guy, you're moving. Uh, at least, you know, uh, the environment we are is not encouraging, you know. Uh, yeah. the governance, uh, for instance, I, the job I do, at least if they are um, uh, incentive, mm. not really incentive, but uh, a good atmosphere to work. I agree with that. You know, uh, people like us would do better. And then uh, you will be able to. It will be easier for you to achieve your dreams. That's true. So, but the society of which we live today, you know, even if you are trying your best, you know, but since left, right, and center, you know, are trying to hold you back. Uh, you, you need to be extra hardworking to to take a step forward and not uh, two steps back back backward. Thank you. So that is where we are in Nigeria. Yeah. Thank you very much. And it's for where we are in Nigeria that we are having this conversation. Thank you very much, my brother. I appreciate. So I want to find out, considering everything that Nigeria is, does income affect your dreams? And then what are your dreams, plans, your aspirations that income affects specifically? Yeah. And uh, I, I remember someone said to me that, you know, she wanted to she's a married woman she but i think she also sounded very offended at the fact that she gave up her dreams just because she got married and it was as though marriage got in the way and just being married there were also financial concerns that further placed a huge weight on her to the degree to which everything about her dream had to be given up i doubt you say you doubt <laughs> of okay course, as long as you live you must have a dream well, that's in an ideal world. What are your dreams? Turn off the volume of your radio set. All right. Please do also the favor of turning off the volume of your radio set. And what are your dreams? Do you have any? And I think you should be able to verbalize it. The supposition that everyone has a dream, well, left to be debated. But first, if you have any dreams you want to tell us and how income affects your dreams is the conversation. Welcome to Nigeria Info. This is John. I'm calling from Aja. It's good to have you here, John. Thank you very yes. much for calling. The income really affecting my dream. What, what, first, what's your dream or what are they? And then how is income affecting it? Uh, my dream to become something good in life. What exactly? The, the income is extremely affecting it because what I'm receiving is not what I expect. When you say Open something, good, hold on a second, hard, please. Hold working on. Working hard, working hard, working hard. Hold on a days. second. What, hold I on. I can say as I'm working. Could you excuse me? Excuse me. When you say working hard to be a good person, what do you mean? Are you a bad person right now? What do you mean by that? If I'm what? You say you want to be a good person. No, I say I'm working hard to, to achieve something good in life. Okay, so what do you want to achieve? Great. What do you want to achieve? So, so I, I've noticed, well, I don't know, I, it shouldn't be that hard, but it's, it's, why can't you verbalize it? Is it so beyond speech that you cannot quite say, this is what I want to achieve? Like this. So it's like, well, if you don't have a name for it, then are you really working towards anything? So that's also something else we might discover today that, Hmm. There might just not be a name for where you're going. Welcome to the show. How are you? Hello. Make it back. 0700-993-993-993 and 01465-7190. The volume of your radio set. Welcome. Good afternoon to you. You tell us your name and you can go ahead. Good afternoon. My name is Joshua. Welcome, Joshua. How income affects your dreams? Go ahead. I'm called, uh, I'm calling from Albado. Great. Thank you very Just much. You for see, my own story is that income, yeah, it affected my dream. In fact, it affected my, my, my future, but I thank God for where I am now. So let's talk about your I, dream first. What's I your dream? Did, I did jump. I did jump. That was 20, 2018. I made the jump. 
but no income, nobody to support me to 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 finance me to the university. Mm -hmm. I worked. If, in fact, I trained myself in, in secondary school, and I made my papers. My work was okay, and I now proceeded. I did the neko. I did jam. The jam was okay. 2018, nobody to support me. 2019, the jam was still okay. I got an admission in a Tasred in a Ijebu. So all the expenses was 300,000 just to enter, to start the first semester. Nobody that I can run to. Is well, it, it, hold on, you don't have an income? You don't, you don't make money? No, you don't work? I don't have, I don't, I, I told you I just, I finished secondary school and I was the one that trained myself in secondary school. So what are so you doing nobody, now? I'm I'm now a tricycle driver. I'm driving tricycle. But thank God, though I'm married now, but that will not stop me in future. But whenever there's money, I will seek for that more because I have that uh, education balance. I, I have the talent going back to school. Are you so, planning towards that? I'm planning towards... I have children. I'm a family man now. But I so much believe that when time comes, when the money, when I, I achieve what I want to achieve, I will see further more. Well, so, thank you very the much. Income, for... Nigeria is not conducive at all, mostly when you don't have anybody backing you. So, okay. in fact, God will help us in Nigeria. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much for calling. And um, so one would say, I think it's a great thing to be married, but then is marriage, should, should, should being married or getting married supersede your pursuit of something, particularly when you're trying to build yourself? You see that. So this last caller has left us something to contemplate, and contemplate we will. Welcome to the show. My name's Joyce. Good afternoon. Hello. Good afternoon. Welcome Hello, to the good show. Afternoon, Joyce. Joyce. What's your name? This is Jeff from my papa. Great. Jo Joyce, mm -hmm. my biggest dream is to own a company of my own. Starting from the starting from the bottom of like the finishing goose. I mean starting from the the goose already, like I've already lost in this like <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> no, wait. What kind of business do you want to run? No, company, a company like a fat, like producing it. Yeah, but you have to start small. So, what's the idea? Towards the idea. If I want to start small, towards the idea. My income right now, I'm not sure that that income to be able to finance that particular business i'm about to run yeah so, but, but what business you say you want to own a company right good but before yes, it's now. a company before it's a big company it's a small idea what's the idea the idea is to oh you just want to be a, a drink oh okay yeah, so okay okay it's not for just a drink that drink is from a tree so i need to plan those trees oh before okay get into the get into the final production production of the drink so for now, now I need to buy a big, a massive of land, like five acres, to plant those particular things. That I Have own. you started well, experimenting in your kitchen with the tree and the whatever in your kitchen? Like you know, you can experiment with the idea. I have already seen the tree I want. To, I want to use for the drink. So it's it's just a matter of time as I start planting it. I start studying more about it. So the income right now is not. I'm not sure. So I'm trying to change. I, I perspective going into something else that can fetch me more money. Why are you not studying about it now? Why? Because I think maybe you should be studying about it now before the money comes. <laughs> Jess, if I start studying about it, I will leave what I'm doing because I am one thing at a time. If okay. I get into something, I leave the rest and focus my focus on those things. Okay. I'm I'm not a multi multi. Are you kind of multitasker? Okay. Okay. No, I'm not. That. I'm not. So if I if, if I invest it all to you, I'll be confused. Okay. So I already, I already know where yeah, I'm heading to, but the income right now is not sufficient. That is just it. 
Oh, okay, thank you very much. Okay, thank you very much for, for calling. I do appreciate it. So, Lagos, can you see how this conversation is going, right? So here's a young man who's doing something right now. Now, you see, I didn't ask him what he was doing, but then he has a dream, and he says he needs to plant on acres of land. He would like to be the owner of a company, right? And he says he's looking for money and would like to study about it. And I'm thinking, okay, so the money is probably far reaching, but what about studying for it now? And he's like, well, if I start studying for it now and I leave what I'm doing, then I, I get confused. And I think I kind of get that, except that what is the potential of that dream if there is no gradual effort towards it? So I get the income part, but I would think spending two hours a day studying about it, doing a research might help as against waiting for one day in the future. Is there ever a day except we wake up and choose today to be that day where we spend the first one hour studying about something that we care about? Well, that's a question in the air. If you have an answer, you know exactly where you're at. Nigeria Info. Let's talk. The volume of your radio set, my friend. Always remember that. Hello, good afternoon. Hello. You're on the sunny side. Welcome to Nigeria Info. My name's Joyce. I'm a Chibedi. Good afternoon. My name is Joyce. What's your name? My name is Chibedi. Chibedi. Welcome to the show. So that, what I'm asking is, how can someone dream when you're not closing your eyes to sleep? You can imagine. In a situation where the inflection is actually outrageous. What are our dream, our dream look like? So what? I think, um, hello. Yeah. I'm with you. Go ahead. Yeah, okay. I'm I'm doing a business that get, uh, I earn like hundred thousand, hundred k in a month. But the more you enter market, the market um, value, even that money will, will look like tanta in your hand. Mm. The more you use it and buy anything. Mm. So what type of dream are we going to dream in this condition? Yeah, you're asking a question as though your possibility lies with me. Your possibilities lie with you. Let me ask, you are the one that brought the topic. Exactly. So are you saying that there are no possibilities with you? There's possibility that there is. Uh-huh. Sure, there well, is. Well, you haven't said to explore it. You're not exploring it yet. But for this moment now, mm. that I'm in 100K, mm. The market value. I get it. Wait, uh -huh. Now, what I, how am I going to survive it? How am I going to dream? How? Wow. Okay. What I'm asking. Okay. Thank you very much for calling. 99.3 Nigeria Info. I mean, that's a vital question, but maybe the conversation, I mean, where you are at is not as to the 100,000 limitation as much as is, I think it should be your imagination with what you can do in order to change something or make something better but i think that's exactly what i'm not able to establish talking with you you're on the sunny side welcome to the show nigeria info how income affects your dream is the conversation yeah good afternoon these I'm are there. the calling from Ugo state thank you very much for calling yeah my dream i call of the big picture is to own my own school oh i to have my own school a standard one primary school yeah. secondary school primary secondary yeah but both. Both, both okay. the, and the college. Oh, okay, okay. But, yeah, but, you know, looking at that dream and currently working as a teacher in a school and earning about 30,000 naira, how is it possible for you to achieve such a dream? How do you think the dream, so, how do you think dreams begin? Yeah, I know, start me to start by, like, by doing it, you know, starting in a smaller place. Yes, I currently started by owning a tutorial center. Okay. Now, and I discovered the environment. I found myself people they don't do really education and they don't really pay. They only a lot of money, even with the small amounts you are charging. They don't pay, and these are things that uh, you know they too they are meant to pay out of their income, which is income is affecting them to pay their child fee, and you too are not getting money to even for that to move higher. So all these things are things that are affecting Nigerians, including me. 
So I think. Do you, do you, do you know that guy who does slump? Do you know the guy who teaches uh, 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 um, children uh, on uh, Agbero boys? No, hold on. What's this guy's name again? I can't remember his name. He was on SME Africa. There was a young man I interviewed whose mother, whose parents didn't have money to send him to school. So the mother worked for free so that the school will admit her son. And he finished wow. school and started teaching children how to play chess. Do you know that story? Wow. No, no, I've not read about it. And they didn't pay him they didn't pay him to learn how to teach chess. He was teaching people for free until people started making donations to that cause and then international organizations found him and he was on the SME Africa. And those kids still wow. do not pay. But that vision wow. is great. Can you see that? So maybe there's something about maybe your vision. You're, suge- you're assuming that it's these people who have little to no income who are supposed to open a school for you by paying you. Okay. I think you should uh, read about his story. It's on the internet. I will. I will surely do that. I'll read about it. Sure. Thank you very right. much for calling. Thank you so much. Yeah, um, I cannot remember his name. I can get that for you in a moment. But he teaches the children how to play, like lost children, like the children on the streets, how to play chess. So I think that maybe let's talk about dreams. It, today we'll reveal something. And maybe by God, we will be able to extract something, you know, meaningful from 2022 in order to make 2023 count. Hello, welcome to the show. Make it back. My name's Joyce. You're on the sunny side. Hi, how are you? Hello, good afternoon. Afternoon to you. My name's Joyce. What's your name? My name is Isaac. I'm going from Leggy. Thank you. Go ahead. You're welcome. Um, talking about dream, okay? How income affects your dream? I doubt if income actually affects our dreams. Do you have a okay? dream? Do you have a dream? Of course I have. Okay. So, part of it, I have achieved them. But part of them are yet to, to come into fulfillment. Although, they have, although the, the Bible says that money answers all things, but I doubt that verse, if it is the, the case. Understand? Because what the, what the man can, can conceive, the hand can accomplish or can, can receive. So it's, 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 it's all about believing. Well, that's abstract. Tell us about yourself. Tell us something very inspiring or something you're working on. Tell us in about my you. Own, in my own part, in my own part, I have, I have achieved part of my dreams. Part of them have come into reality. But, but, but you so can't tell us what it is. It doesn't have a name. Does it have a name? Yeah, I keep it to myself. Like, oh. some of my dreams have come into reality. So I, I have experienced what, them. The one that came into reality, what's the name? Like, okay, the, the, the thing that, that, I, that I have achieved? Yeah. Yeah, I open a business and my business is working. So I'm now like I'm now I'm um, the CEO of, of of my business of my company. Okay. And I've 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 known to employ like 15 workers. Okay. So I did it that way. So it's it's what I dream of about 10 years ago. Oh, okay. Well, that's a good one. So it's part of my dreams I get to come to fulfillment. So real so quick, it's, which it's, one is yet to come to fulfillment? It's about faith and believing. Which one of which one is yet to come to fulfillment? Pardon? Which one is yet to come to fulfillment? Yeah, so I want to take my business globally, understand? Okay, okay. So maybe it's just a matter of time. Yeah, that's that exactly it. a reality. Yeah. We, we don't need money to make more money. What, what we need to make money is, 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 is the vision, All right. idea, believing, faith. Thank you. Understand? Thank you yeah. very much for calling. I do appreciate it. We're off on a break. We'll be right back. You're on the sunny side. We're radioactive. It's a beautiful Monday on 99.3 Nigeria Info. My name's Joyce.
Thursdays, December 29th from 1 p.m. to 2 p.m. It's Friday, December 30th from 3 p.m. to 5 p.m. The Nigeria Info Roundtable. <laughs> it's a black stock. He said girls shouldn't play with boys. He said girls shouldn't leave the kitchen. Girls should not play cinema. They said girls shouldn't have a name too high. That a girl with a car will remain unmarried. A girl with a stable income will be proud. That a girl was smart will not be humble. That a girl in a male-dominated field is almost a girl. These stereotypes have contributed to the cause of the gender disparity in education and the tech industry. These are the realities for many girls in Africa. In the African professional tech space, only 30% are women. Let us help break the stereotype by donating as little as $2 or 2,000 naira to train a girl in tech. Help them get their heels on the door by visiting www.africaagility.rallyup.com forward slash ETAG to donate. Sound. Picture the future of life you to be in the mind and in the act. Live your best life now. Switch to Vivo Pensure PFO today. Bring joy from purchasing a vehicle. Get access of up to 25% of your RSA back as equity contribution towards your mortgage. Vivo Pensure PFO. Your future, our passion. My name is Naikele. And now, Cedric, are you sir? <laughs> Whether I hear you go, Bell. Even couplings, Bell. They go my shop now. Bet. People no go buy what they no go see. Abi, say you. I just go plug your camera. No, me, eh? My phone now my shop. My Airtel data now my rent. <laughs> the important things in life are powered by data. Dial star 141 hash to choose any data plan that works for you. Airtel, the smartphone network. Sleep like cow hearing in this town. Come on, you know, malaria, they won't make sound like this. Malaria, quack. When I get a mouth to mouth for her, a mouth to mouth go kick that malaria come on your body. Let's pull those away or kick you. Oh, yeah, say, pull that mouth. Mama Kari, Mama Kari, I won't go buy my chicken with her. They don't collect money when they owe me. Now, nah, now, nah, malaria don't come off. Mama Kari, I tell you, I tell your mouth to mouth, malaria don't come off now. Mothma is an active anti-malarial drug that helps family treat malaria. Mothma helps alpha Mothma and Unitan 3 with variants for both adults and children. Mothma is marketed by our Greenfield Pharmaceuticals Limited and can be purchased at any pharmaceutical shop near you across Nigeria. There is a new way to move around the economies, from Lekki to Ikudu, from anywhere to everywhere. We are now on Twitter. You can now interact and you can never swipe your text message on your phone. Get in the Twitter for any time, anywhere. Browse your browser on our live interactive map. Or even share a ride too to save on traveling costs. Try Anabel and you won't go back to your old ways of moving around in Lagos. Get your first ride for free using the promo code FIRSTDRIVE. Download your free Anaya app today from Google Play Store or Apple Store. Or visit Anaya.com. Anaya is spelled A-N-A-Y-E-R. Anaya, the power to move. Cool. 
Jesus is coming up right now to start nourishing people all across the nation of Israel and Nigeria. Of days and many others will pass the waves of the blood. It's going to make we all more active. What you want to do more about your prophetic prayer? Go and see Stephen as a president. Go help him see this party. Let's go grow me. income affects drink now it would appear that some people are not drinking because they say they have no income it would appear that some people have idea but don't have language to describe the idea which they believe is what makes them better in society and if one decides to suspend a vision or a dream would that singular act of suspension not be a threat to the dream? Well, there's, there are layers to this. We're trying to pick it apart. My name's Joyce. Let's talk on Nigeria Info. Make it back. Good afternoon to you. It's good to have you here. Thank you very much for calling. The volume of your radio set. Good afternoon. Speak up for us. Tell us your name or turn off the volume of your radio set. I'm My name is Andy. I'm calling from Ethiopia. Go ahead. Yeah. So, um, I actually do have a dream. I'm a student, I've been to school. I like to get out. Is that? Your line is breaking up. Could you speak up and make some adjustments? Stay put. Let's see whether we can get the best out of you. All right. Um, I'm outside now. Can you hear me now? Go ahead. All right. So, as I was saying, um, I studied um, sciences, biological sciences. Mm -hmm. And um, I actually finished the first class, so I actually had my life all planned out, actually. Mm -hmm. Are you with me? I'm with you. Yeah. So I actually had my life all planned out, and I actually, my long-term goal is to actually um, work at the United Nations. That's my long-term goal. Okay. For as what? As, um, as a consult, an ambassador... A representative of a country, anything of that sort. Yeah, but representing yeah, that, on what? Like when you, I get it. On what? Yeah. Okay. What would, um, what would and, be um, consulting? In terms for? of preserving the nation, and um, um, as a um, as a um, effect, as a result of um, climate change, I'm a good researcher. Um, and the last time I've been in the lab was when I was in my final project. So I actually believe that when it comes to diplomatism, I'm good at, I'm, I'm a good diplomatic, I'm very diplomatic, I'm a good researcher, and um, I believe that I have the skills necessary. I don't intend to actually just jump into that position tomorrow or any day. I've had the experience, I've worked at different institutions, I've okay. um, tried to gather the necessary connections that are available to me, but still yet, <laughs> Life has its way of um, making things funny. Yeah, yeah, life is funny. All right. Well, since you believe your dream should come true at some point. Yeah, yeah, it's been two years since I've left the university. And still yet, no show. What do you mean no show? Are you waiting for a show or you are the show? I am the show, yes. But um, as actually the platform, I don't think that um, it's possible to just be an independent um, member of the UN. I've applied yeah, for internship. Yeah, but you, you, you seem to be jumping scale or skipping. You want to just be the U a UN member tomorrow. I don't know it works like that. I think you should be doing like something. I think you should be doing something for which attention will be brought to you. Or maybe you make yourself... I, I think what you hmm. do gives you attention or prominence. And then maybe... But it seems like your attention, your plan is finish school, have a dream to work for UN, wait for UN to call you. I don't, I'm not waiting for UN to call me. Well, I've be doing something. Well, What's I'm doing something right now. I'm learning. In connection, <laughs> or, okay. I'm learning um, a trade. I'm learning a trade, a handwork, a handwork to keep myself busy. I've, um, I also work part-time at um, um, an industry close to where I am. So... It's not paying yet, 
<laughs> nothing right now, but are you I doing anything on climate change? Because I know you mentioned something on climate change. Are you doing anything on climate change as concerning like yes, work? Yes, I have um, actually started um, up an Instagram page to promote awareness. Um, even right in my home, my family, okay. my friends, my okay. um, people around me, they are aware that I'm very, um, I'm, I'm not ignorant to the fact about climate change. I'm very consistent and persistent. That's everybody. My, my brother, that's everybody. So if you want to be employed, <laughs> you have to be doing, yeah, that's every, everybody has heard about is to some degree. Even people who don't know what it is has, have heard about it. So I think you have to be doing something else that says, well, I want to be employed. For well, climate science. Well, I've actually um, done a research about it, and um, it's on its way to being published. I did a research for biofuel, a renewable source of energy. Okay, good, good. So I've done that, and um, I hope it gets published. But I've not heard from the symposiums I sent it to. So I'm actually doing something, and um, like I said initially, I don't intend to jump into that position tomorrow, or next tomorrow. That's a very good I, thing to know. Yes. Well, actually, <laughs> I actually don't know where to start from, with how to move forward. Start where you are standing. Just... No, you start where you're standing. Right there where, where you standing. are is where you start. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's I, I think you point. do not understand process. So that's why from your conversation, you, you have gone from finished school, uh, done some reading, waiting for UN. And it's broken. Volunteering, interning. Yeah. Yeah. So you have to work in the field where you want to be employed. Yeah. Uh, you're well, not sure. At the same time. Uh, I'm. I'm sh- <laughs> at the same time, what? <laughs> at the same time, I've actually sent CVs. I've sent application letters. Yeah, I've, but you see, it might not I've, be UN. It might be something different but similar. That's the thing. Yeah, so yeah, maybe I understand. Shake this UN thing off. Shake it off. Yeah, you have to that. shake it off. And then broaden it. I think you should broaden it. Mm. How so? Into what part? So, um, my father used to read, and I started to read, right? And my idea was to be a lawyer. And I knew that to be a lawyer, you had to be intelligent, articulate, but you also know how to think, right? So, my father was my mirror. I used to argue with my father just for the fun of it, but not necessarily. But, you know, I would have an opportunity to argue, and I would really just wear him out. Right? Yeah. And so I did all yeah. of that for so many years. But people thought radio was where I should be. And so right now I'm running a legal program, but I'm also a radio presenter. So it would have been me just fighting to enter, you know, university to go and be a lawyer. Meanwhile, I'm actually supposed to be on radio. I think what happens is that if you say UN, it's not impossible, right? But you can broaden it. So if it's not UN, it can be another international organization, maybe more influential than the UN or as influential uh, or can be an arm in, uh, uh, in, in um, association with the UN. Like it can be anything. It can even be like a government spokesperson. It doesn't have to be just, you know... One thing, it can be so broad that anything that falls into that class is your opportunity or can be your opportunity. At least I think so. Ah, Dreams. Well, I think this show has an element of strain and confusion. I think some people are not too clear. Hi. Hey, Welcome. It's good to have you here, young lady. Uh, what's your name? Uh, um, um, this is for my bed, uh. Okay. Okay. Yes, I'm to say really, can um, Ecom has its um, Ecom and something, uh, but actually it hinders dreams, yes, because I know I even had to go for a lesser course because that cost less compared to the course I wanted to go for initially. Oh. And then, yes, and then along the line I discovered I had a passion for something else. I had to hold on to finish up the course I was running for. Now I'm done with the course. And I'm trying to save up to at least acquire some basic skills I need for the. Uh huh. For yes. what? Eh? Skills you need for what? Yes, to acquire the basic skills and then run some courses I need for the. One that you really like. I, yes, for this other question I had. And the question actually is is the media person. I actually have passion for to be an OAP. Okay, so, so what are you doing about that? What are you doing about that? 
Yes, that's when I just finished because I had to go for, and I'm still trying to save up to go for my. Okay, all the money I've been saving, I'll be using to run clearance to go for at least finish up this other one, round up, and then try to get courses that will help me. No, Do you know some people who are on air personalities didn't go to on air personality school or go for um, go to the a academy for training? Okay. So there's nothing wrong with you going for training, but is there anything that you're doing by yourself that, for example, how old are you? I'm 28. You're 28. Yeah. Do you think there's something about your voice that you need to work on because your voice is to me is to me is not compelling, for example? Okay. Yeah, you sound like a you sound like an eighteen year old who's happy. So if you're gonna tell us about the war, so maybe there's an there's something to the voice that requires attention. It should be captivating. You should be able to read and flow. Like I think that there are some elements that are not taught at school. You see that? Uh, yeah, I mean school yeah, is good, but yeah. there are some things that are not taught at school that you have to learn that adds to the concept of you being a broadcaster. Do you know that? Yeah, sure so I do. so income might not be altogether it. limiting as much as imagination might be the highest limiter. Okay. Think about it. Okay. I was already on radio before I went to training school. I was already on radio. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much. Well, think about that. Thank you. All right. Thank you. It's good to have you here. Welcome. We're talking about how income affects dreams on Nigeria Info. What's your name? My name is Sunday, um, Madam Joy. Welcome. Good afternoon. How are you doing? I'm good. Thank you. I don't know if this is a good uh, one or bad one. Like, we need you, like, we need you on radio, like, at least six hours, Joyce. For what? Had, what do you mean by that? that? Like we can't, like I can't just, I can't just, I can't, I can't just, uh, I, there's, I don't know how to say it, but I can't just be okay with you doing only two hours. Like. Can you imagine this guy? Yes, yes, I'm sorry. And even the two hours now, you're even shorting our two hours, you know, before you start from two hours. Yeah, don't, start, don't stress like, me, man. Don't stress me. What, what are you, what are you trying to say? You want me to work yes. six hours? Please, I need you. I no, need no, you no. What, what do you need me for? What like is it you I need me that I don't tell I you? Really, I, I always like hearing you. I just need to be hearing you. That's, that is all I need. Nah, I just you, need to be hearing you. No, nah, don't let honest. management hear this thing, Biko. What do you mean, be six hours? No, but right? it's true, now. Nah. Just, 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 just do something I want. Yeah, but well, what do you want from me that I don't give to you in two hours or three hours? Like, 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 you are, you are my lecturer. You are my professor. Pick a book everything. and read, son. What do you mean I'm your lecturer? Read something. Educate yourself. I'm not the redeemer. Yeah, but I mean the the way you interpret it, like I even if I even if I should, of course I'm reading, but I mean your own interpretation is is quite different from every other ah. thing that I mean hear it. One day you're alone now because I'm not doing six hours radio. I've done it before for years, and God no, I'm not doing that again. And maybe the benefit of being so good at what you do is you can give radio one hour and you are done in 24. Like I want to yeah, sure, do, sure. you know, I've done it when I did it. Now I think I'm good yeah. enough to say management. I want to work one hour a day. I know yeah, agree, yeah, but yeah, you know, yeah, I, I, uh -huh. I think I get that one. Uh -huh. I get it, I what do you mean six hours? <laughs> six hours. I get it, Joyce. I get it, Joyce. Thank you, right, Nicole. So, you don't have a uh, dream, evidently. I ha Why wouldn't I have a dream? <laughs> 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 yes, I have a dream, but I think I think people should also, people should also understand the difference between dream and wish. I think uh, the, the the other guy before the last person I just spoke with, you know, uh, I think I think what he actually had, I don't think he's only not sounding like a dream. It's sounding more of, of like more a of wish. like a wish. Yeah, uh, you know, because he's not he's not this uh, specific about it. He's just telling us about when he wants to work as well. So I think that is just a wish. Uh, yeah, I think yeah. I can agree with that too. Yeah, thank you, guys. Well, thank you very much for calling. Uh, he ended up not telling us the dream, so I wasn't even wrong. <laughs> The sunny side, 99.3 Nigeria Info. Homeboy talking six hours. Six hours! I think three hours is too much. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Hello, how are you? Hello. Honey, Hello. turn up the volume of your radio set. Thank you very much. Hello, for good afternoon. Welcome, good afternoon to you. Okay, I said uh, the guy that is talking about six hours of your time, Hell no. I thought he would have said he would bankroll your program. So that you will not be doing that from the comfort of your anywhere you want. You're a genius. And go into research and you know expand everything you know, bring out everything in your head. 
and be doling it out for him. You, you will have a problem with that. But for him to be asking for six hours on top of all of this, that's too much. Yo, your mother's <laughs> child. Thank you very much for defending this thank, cause. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Actually, I need more. I, I need more time to read to be able to be Joyce. You see that? So I can't be six hours. I'm gonna be too tired to read anything after that. Welcome to the show. You're on the sunny side. How income affects dreams. This is good. It's revealing something. Let's find out what you have by way of income versus dreams, as far as reality goes. Welcome. What's your name? Hello. Can you hear me? I can. It's good to have you here. Yeah. Good afternoon. This afternoon. Is Mr. Frank. Fantastic. The, the income is disturbing my dreams. Oh. Seriously. How? First of all, what's the dream? What's the dream? The dream is that I'm a transporter. Uh. And the income is not helping. You guys are the big boys now. Transport. No. For real? Now, let me start from when when the insecurity was much and people was using air. Ah. Uh. How can you cope? Okay. Then the thing affected the airline. They started using the road again. Mm. But only in the night. Because if you follow morning bus, you get home very late. Mm. You cannot go to your house. And it's not the old drivers like that night. Then we have to adjust. And you cannot force a driver to follow the night. Okay. The ones that are willing to. Just now, this time around, now we used to call this time around season time. Uh-huh. The little of fuel now is 250 here yeah, in Lagos. Oh. It is 300, 400. And you give the driver money according to the fuel pump. That is how many liters yeah. the motor consumes times two and times four. Because any motor that I left here is coming back this night without any passenger. So you are not going to wait until when you load there. I don't know if you get that. So, I mean, you're saying that the bus would have to come back empty. Why would it come back empty? Why wouldn't it load there? There is no passenger from the east coming to Lagos now. Oh. All the passenger line is going. Oh. And if you keep the motor there, waiting to when you will load, oh. you will not make it. Then how much will you tell the passenger? How much is minimum weight? I, I don't know that. if you are getting yeah, it yeah, now. Yeah, 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 I do, I do, I do now. Now, these buses now, before before you get one, like 1, 5, 2, 2.2. 2. But now it's 5, 5.5, 6.5 million, 1. Don't ask the other, anybody that says the other bus, or let them call, they are hearing me. Wow. But the last few years, you are mm. buying it 1.2, 1.5, 1.6. 1. But now it's 6.5, 6 million, 1. Wow. Wow. So how will you get it? Yeah, now I see that. And one. you give this tank, you, any, anywhere you're going, you have to run two tanks. You have to pay for that two tanks coming back. But the motor must come back this night. Mm. Are you getting yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, I do. So this is how the now, economy is next, affecting my, you. I was planning now that maybe by next year, now we have to open the park at the logo and they get the park on. How can you make it? People are, people are moving their mind to travel. And people... If you carry jeep, you carry aeroplane, carry everything. If you have never carried a bag of rice going to Christmas, you have never prepared. I don't know if you are getting that. Yeah. Now, one bag of rice, nice, how much? Your clothes, what a family man. So how many people are planning to travel? Assuming that things are cheap now, people will be moved. By now, you know that there is season. By now, you see the hot, the hot weather. Is, but nothing is happening. Yeah, yeah. The diesel itself is nowhere to be found. One liter of diesel now, they are selling 1,000. In the yeah. east itself, 1,001, 1,002. Oh, yeah. So, so it's, this... it's not helping. Mm -hmm. At all. At all. The pass, the spare pass. If, if, if you go to motor paper to price a pass, if they tell you one, you will need to go and look for your dictionary to know the meaning of that price they tell you. <laughs> and this is something you just put on your left hand from uh, this is how much you just take it. But now if the type price you will buy three of what we are buying four of what we are buying before. People yeah. that will travel now what is their face. So that is it. That's yeah. my own. Thank you. Yeah, I see how that actually does affect. I do appreciate you calling in. Thank you very much. Nice and I point three Nigeria info. I have a message on Twitter. Nigeria info funds. 
as an income in Nigeria is a huge challenge. As a project manager, but quack in building industry had made our profession unproductive. They are ready to take ridiculous prices as fees in project supervision and client tends to engage them. Pardon me. Did I read this wrong? I, it doesn't quite. I think I know what you're trying to say, but no, I think I'm, I, I'm reading it wrong. Fund as an income in Nigeria is a huge challenge as a project manager, but quack. Oh, then it was okay. So it's supposed to be a full stop here. Okay, so the quack and the, the quacks in the industry are making the pro uh, profession unproductive, and are ready to take uh, ridiculous prices as fees and project supervision. And clients tend to engage them. F fantastic. Yeah. Sometimes a downfall of an industry is where, if not, if all the measures to keep the industry to par starts to crack then quacks begin to sip in like witches from the dark. I see I, I see how that, yeah. Well, thank you very much for your message, Otsuba, David. I do appreciate. Uh, by the way, how much is solar panel right now? And wh wh where is the best place to buy solar? Yeah, where is the best place? And then I hear that Alaba is one place. If you are from the Alaba area, how much is it? Just having an idea of solar installation. A 3.5 battery lithium solar panels inverter. Yeah, I need some information on that. Thank you. And so we're on this conversation, how dreams, how income affects dreams. My friends, we're going to quickly go off on a break. When we come back, we'll further this conversation. But help me articulate what the plan is. And if you are lost, maybe you would get found on Nigeria Info. <laughs> My name's Joyce. Activate. 